Now, what are some of those common injuries that we see in kids in sports? Some of the most common injuries we see are certainly overuse injuries of the ligaments and the joints. Okay, uh, for example, uh, kids who are running a lot, running on the soccer field a lot, will get sometimes heel injuries, which you know, pounding on the cleats. Uh, pitchers in baseball will throw a lot, or even anybody throwing the ball a lot will get elbow injuries because mm -hmm. they're throwing a lot, and and that hurts a really yanks a lot on, on the ligaments and the tendons of the muscles and bones. Uh, so those are kind of more common injuries. The acute injuries, injuries happen right away. Okay. Of course, those sprains, uh, those bruises, contusions we call bruises. Now, sprains in kids, one of the misnomers is that, you know, a kid can really have a sprain and, and, and get on with it. When you have a kid who's growing, especially under the age of 15 or 16, they have growth plates. Most, right. most women or most girls uh, will start closing their growth plates by 13 or 14 years of age, maybe 15. A boy is about 16, 17 years of age. If you have an injury or a pain over a growth plate, or which is basically over a joint, you need to stop that activity right away, get assessed by your pediatrician, maybe a pediatric orthopedic specialist like we have at Baptist Children's Hospital, uh, and see if that's really an injury to the growth plate. And now we're going to talk more about the orthopedics, and one of the big ones I want to talk about is is head injuries, concussions, and these mm -hmm. are so common. Whether you play a sport or your kid rolls off the bed, we see this very often in the ER. Absolutely. So, you know, the, the concept that concussions or head injuries only happen while you're doing sports is a misnomer. It's, it's, it's a fallacy. Uh, as recently as yesterday, uh, I was treating a patient who had a, a, a head injury playing tennis. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you do that? Well, the tennis racket was flying out of the, the, the doubles partner's hands, hit her in the head, oh my and, gosh. <laughs> and she has a legitimate, uh, you know, mild concussion. Right. So, but rolling off the bed, uh, you know, uh, running around, slipping on the tile floor by the pool or by the pool and hitting themselves on the head. Uh, we've seen certainly kids uh, in the playground who are, are, get, you know, are drinking at the water fountain and get hit with a basketball in the back of the head and then they get, you know, kind of dizzy and, and have headaches. Those are all indications for or getting assessed by the right medical professional in the emergency room setting or urgent care setting or even your pediatrician and, and doing it sooner than later.